Okay, so why did you say uh, that you want me to, uh, to, 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 to start from, to, 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 you know, to comment on this situation? Sorry? Uh, I, wa I'm, I was saying that where did you want us to start, uh, uh, you, know, uh, you know, from where we were, you know, making our analysis, where did you want us to start from? Han, uh, it's okay. I mean, some of the things you have recorded it, but now you are going in detail in it. So I just wanted to record it so I can play it back later on when I uh, compose my own answers and I can hear it back if I lose anything. That's fine. <laughs> uh, so did you want... From, ah, uh, okay. Which question you mean? Uh, the concession uh, and then... Uh, the Let's start from the concession. Okay, so uh, the, the 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 question: Did you want us to should should we go through all the questions? Uh, the most important thing is the concession. But yeah, let's go there. even like what we talked just on the call. Okay, let's start from the. Uh, results. Okay, I'm expecting results. Okay. So, uh, from from the results, uh, I think there I said that uh, because the 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 South Africa Broadcasting uh, Corporation (SABC) uh, news, they asked, uh, uh, "Can it produce results?" And I think what I said there is that. Uh, as a people or as Africans, we have to insist that it has to produce results and it can produce results and it will produce results, especially, especially if this is uh, approached from the original uh, method, from the original uh, narrative and approach, okay, which is African solutions to African problems. Uh, the only problem will come that we will not get the desired results or the positive results if this arrangement, if this negotiation uh, is, uh, 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 if this negotiation is uh, interfered with with the external forces, as we have seen that uh, foreigners like the Europeans and the and the, and, the, and the West, the whole group of the West, we have not seen uh, countries like China. Uh, and Russia interfering in these negotiations. So uh, uh, if there's no interference, definitely there's going to be uh, positive results. And the African Union, as it has insisted, and the regional countries, as they have in insisted, President Cyril Ramaphosa, as he has also insisted, the results will be positive, uh, definitely, if, the, uh, if we don't get any interference into the, the negotiations. <laughs> Let me stop you here. Did really Ramaphosa say that? So, uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa did not personally say, but you can see that uh, 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 from the narrative, okay, from the narrative that is coming out of uh, uh, South Africa, Johannesburg, that the okay. Minister of uh, the Minister of Foreign uh, Relations, Naleda Pando, uh, when Blinken came there, she insisted that Africa should be left uh, to decide its own, for example, <clears throat> friends and its position. But President Cyril Ramaphosa also is not a guest to, uh, to the doctrine, to the principle of African solutions to African problems. He has, he, has, he has also spoken about it in the past. You know, African solutions to African problems and the respect for Africa. So uh, at this, he doesn't need to mention it repeatedly or a thousand times uh, for us to understand that this is what he, he, he you know, he's mentioning. And the, the attacks on South Africa, as we have seen in the past, you know, the insistence uh, 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 the concentration of the United States in South Africa. You remember that Blinken, when he came, 
he decided to give his speech, which he gave, he, he said that, he, he, you know, his, his President Biden's approach towards Africa, strategy, President Biden's strategy towards Africa, he gave it in Pretoria, okay? But even after that, they invited uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa to Washington, okay? But what, well, after coming from there, what was President Cyril Ramaphosa's position? The position is the same. He has continued to move, you know, on an independent course. Because South Africa was, was chosen out and invited uh, because... <laughs> Uh, the, you remember they said that they are talking about the, the U.S.-Africa summit. You remember in one of the conversations, yeah. you know, yes. So it was chosen as a leader on the continent. So that means South Africa represented the whole continent. And if you look at the voting also of South Africa at the United Nations, uh, as regards, as regards uh, to, you know, to the Russia conflict and stuff, South Africa has continued to tread the independent course. Okay, so this is very significant of the position South Africa is holding on behalf of the continent. So that is where you, you have to read. So some of these things, they will not say them. You just have to read between the lines. You read, you know, through the movements, the actions, and then you make a conclusion that this is it. This is what, you know, uh, the steps which they are taking, they mean. I hope I hope that one makes it uh, I hope that one makes it clear for you to understand. Very good. Yeah, I'm glad that we are revising it because you brought a very good, uh, important uh, issue in terms of expecting. Them. Yeah. Okay. Go on. So now concession, if they are willing, from the Tigray side, it says specifically, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so on the on the concessions, I think that uh, any concessions, uh, any concessions that have to be made, uh, they have to be within the framework uh, of the uh, African Union. Any concessions have to, I mean, they, they, they have to be uh, starting with uh, within the framework of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia. The mandate for the protection of every inch of territory of Ethiopia was given to the to the democratically elected government okay of the time and the currently democratically elected government of Ethiopia happens to be the government that is being led by the prime minister Abiy Ahmed so he has the responsibility for the welfare of the people, for the protection of every inch of the territory, and governing the country. So any, any disturbance on the territory, he has every right to use every tool to protect that, you know, uh, you know all the territories of the, of the country. So we know that the United States has a principle itself, as a principle that it doesn't negotiate with terrorists, okay? So unlike the United States, uh, the government in Ethiopia is not like that because it's humanistic, it's African and it's humanistic in nature. And it has chosen negotiations. It has chosen even to take the, the, the route of negotiation. And these are terrorists. We know that they have been terrorizing the people, but the government has chosen to negotiate with them. This is from the humanistic point of view. So they have to understand that uh, uh, only the people that the government in Ethiopia has chosen within its constitution to help in these negotiations should participate in this. And all those ones, uh, all the sides, the government and the rebels have to make concessions within the framework of, of, the, of the constitution. I hope that I, th I think I hope that is okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what to add on that on that one. Uh, 
uh, uh, the you know the issue of uh, um, yeah, I, I mean the, actually that will make it a very closed one. Okay, anything that has to the the concession should be within the Ethiopian government and constitution. Uh, but yeah, yeah, uh, maybe I shouldn't raise the issue of. There cannot be two armies in one state. Then he might say, "Oh, if they are not willing to to give up, then uh, the, so there is no concession to be reached, or something." He might it might lead to something else. Anyway, yeah, go on. So the third one is with the regional. Yeah. So the the, the, the giving up, the giving up or not giving up. Uh, we we I think we think that it has already. Uh, uh, the government has made gains. You see, if the government did not want peace, if it, the government wanted destruction and, and killing, it would have used its arm because it controls the, 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 the you know the, the army, the Ethiopian army. Okay, but this is not what the, the government wants. It has made advances, as we we all have heard. It has made advances in, into Mekele and taken yeah. over even the international airport. So if it was about uh, using force, the government would have used. But these are citizens of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia, even though they have yeah. decided to be rebels. So when, we, ah, are when okay. we are talking about the constitution, they have to be under the constitution. These people are guided by the constitution. You know, they are under the constitution of Federal Republic. So Ethiopia is operating under, the government is operating, is not out, op operating outside any document, is operating under that document. So unless the federal government chooses more partners it, by itself, like it has chosen the, the, its African brothers and it has rejected any other external interference, that is the, you know, the framework. Uh, uh, we think that the concessions have to be made within African solutions, like even the African Union itself has insisted that it has to be African solutions to African problems. So there's no way a small group of people, like 50 or 20, can stand up against the whole African continent. So you have to make it very clear like that. Yeah, so in, in that sense, what I got is now from the added part, uh, the Ethiopian government ha has made already its concessions because it did not advance because, because of its responsibility of protecting the citizens. Uh, uh, yeah, it has, it has already made, but it even is still, even the, the, by, by its being at the table to negotiate with the a, a small group of people ah, yeah, who are not yeah, elected. Yeah, that is yeah. a concession by itself. That is a concession. And that concession is not because it is weak, but it's because it has a responsibility. It has the parental responsibility of taking care of its citizens. And these guys who are rebellious, a group of people who are rebellious, they are just citizens of the of the of the of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia. So the government has already made its concessions. And then to bring that also, no one, even those now who are trying to interfere and, and try to lecture us, whatever they are trying to, to lecture us, will not do that under any circumstance to sit and negotiate who attacked their national defense force. Yeah, so yeah. Those, those who are going to lecture, you can add it in there, but those ones who are trying to lecture, they have no right unless they are invited by the African Union or the oh, yeah, starting yeah. with the African, you know, the uh, you know, starting with the Federal Republic of Ethiopia, unless it has invited them. The Ethiopian state is the authority of the land of that region. So there's no one who has a right to lecture anyone over there unless that person has been invited. And from what we know, all those ones who are lecturing. They have been rejected. You made it very clear. They have been rejected. The African, the principle of African solutions, to African problems. The, the 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 emphasis of that principle is that we don't want any foreign interference, and the foreigners have been rejected. So they are kicking up and down, but they have been rejected, and that is 
you know uh, uh, how it is when it comes to to this it is an african matter okay it's clear okay yeah we can move to the role of the regional uh, actor so when we, we when we talk about the the regional bodies uh, we think that the regional bodies have already played uh, a role you know when we 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 see what is happening uh, uh, at the opening uh, at at his speech uh, the prime minister mentioned the uh, the at the 35th you know ordinary session of the african union the prime minister mentioned that if it was not for our african brothers Ethiopia would have been destroyed. And it is the, these same forces which we are talking about that are interfering in the continent. And they are foreigners to the continent. They don't belong to the region, the own of Africa as a region. They don't belong to East Africa as a region. They do not belong to the African region. So we wonder what these groups want. So the region, the Horn of Africa, East African region, and the African continent itself has already been instrumental, very, very instrumental uh, in protecting and 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 and, and solving this conflict, uh, we remember that uh, when Blinken came to Kenya, for example, uh, he was trying to coerce Kenya, and Kenya made it clear that this is an Ethiopian problem; it has to be solved internally. Very clear, Kenya made it very clear. It was, I think, in November. It was in September or November 2021, right? Last year, no, it was this, it was last year, 20, yeah, November. It was in November. Yeah, November 2021, yeah. Yes, it was, it was, it was November last year, 2021. So Kenya made it very clear, okay, <laughs> that this solution has to come from Ethiopia. It has, Ethiopia has the, uh, the ability to solve its own problems. And uh, 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 in this same spirit, uh, uh, the prime minister moved around the region he has come, you know, been around the region. He has been to Kenya, been to Uganda, been to Rwanda. You know, had conversation with the regional heads in in Congo and Tanzania. He has had conversations, and he has been even recently to Algeria. Okay, he even in the same speech at the African Union at the thirty fifth ordinary session of the African Union thanked uh, the intervention by President Cyril Ramaphosa. You remember? I think you you you, you, were, you were asking did Cyril Ramaphosa say that. Did he say that African social and African problems? But you remember that President, uh, 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 you know, uh, you know, Prime Minister Abi, when he was giving the speech, he thanked even uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa. Okay, you remember at uh, that speech. So, yeah. so this is very important that the whole continent has come together to start solving its own problems. So you make it bigger that this is about the continent, and it has rejected. The interference, the external interference, the interference from uh, uh, from outside. Because one of the things, you know, one of the the, the, the thing that uh, our continent has realized is that most of these foreigners they don't even understand the continent. You see, so you throw in that one there. That one is a shot, like you was, you know, you you you, you were knocking someone on the head. You, you, we, we understand that most of these uh, people who are interfering, they don't understand the continent they don't understand the regional bodies so the regions themselves they understand these you know uh, conflicts which are going on and so have been able repeatedly you know to solve their own uh, uh, problems i hope i've not spoken too much no 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 it's, it's good it's good uh, the last one was you, you, can uh, remind. Out, you can digest out and filter out the, 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 the best. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know definitely I am uh, taking the key words, key statements from what you say already as you speak. Uh, the last question, you have it in front of you? Just a second, I'll check. Yeah, the last one, I don't think I will answer it any different from what I've already said. Uh, ah, you have. Oh, what is this? You have kids yes. who have labeled the war in Tigray a yes. genocide. The the Tigray is the, the CPLA propaganda. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it is not uh, they, those people who have labeled this as a genocide. First of all, there are people who don't understand 
what is going on inside the country. And if they do understand what is going on in the country, then they are driven by uh, imperialistic and neo-colonial uh, objectives and motives and hidden agendas. We understand that they are driven by hidden agendas, uh, but there's no genocide. Uh, the government has made a lot of compromises. It has made a lot of concessions by continuously appealing uh, to the groups, you know, to this small group, make it, you know, minimize it, this small group of people that have, are causing chaos in the region because the government cares about its people. So it is not an, a genocide. We have seen false news being printed in, in the different fake news medias. And, and people have come even to realize, even the international community has come to realize that these are fake reports. And, 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 and there has not been any credible report that has come out of the region to show that the, 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 you know, there is a genocide over there, apart from fake news that has been uh, you know, published by these fake medi media, media houses. So uh, if anyone wants to understand uh, uh, what is going on, uh, it has to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, if anyone has to understand what is going on in the, in the region, then he has to consult within the region, the regional, you know, countries, the regional uh, body itself, the, the Horn of Africa and the East African region, not propaganda media houses that have been spreading the lies, uh, you know, uh, that have been going around the world and which lies are driven by selfish motives. We know what is driving them, you know, the, 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 the prime minister even, uh, I mean, the, the minister of international affairs, uh, uh, international relations, Nalenda Pando, uh, mentioned it uh, even recently when Blinken was visiting uh, South Africa that the conflict are being driven by Africa's resources. So these groups, we know that they are industrialized nations. They are being driven by Africa's resources. And in the region, we, 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 we know there's a lot of gas, there's a lot of uh, gold in the region. So they are driven by these to slander and try to steal Africa's resources. And this is something which Africans themselves also have to understand. So this, I think you can uh, couple it together. Yeah, yeah, and also what I can add is on that genocide thing, because genocide is a key word that the West used when they try to intervene at certain things they want to, you know, kind of popularize before they intervene. So yes, yes, even in Canada, Libya, yeah. you can mention Libya. Uh, you can mention Libya, you can mention uh, Syria, you can also mention those ones. That when we are talking about genocide, a lot of false flags have been have been raised in different countries. Uh, countries like, 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 like you know, uh, Libya, countries like, you know, uh, Syria. But what we realized that there was no genocide, but it was propaganda and driven by colonial narrative. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a very good point. Thank you, Kwame. Yeah, so my kid went up to sleep by themselves. <laughs> but I didn't want to interrupt. Also, I just said, okay, let me follow the flow, which is good mostly to follow the flow. Uh, yeah, I, I can't wait. I'm going to compost things and then, yeah, I meet this guy. Uh, so he said for tomorrow, okay, we will do it. Mm.